Alright. Okay. Cool. Alright. Cool that out, so. Say again. Alright. Um <clears throat> You know, I really dislike these kind of videos because it always feels disingenuous whenever somebody's doing this. So yeah, man, never thought I'd be doing this video, but here we are, right? Some of y'all may be asking, yo, Melvin, it's been a minute since we had a reaction slash review from you. Um, as a matter of fact, we've been getting those a little inconsistent as of late. What's been up, bro? What's been going on? And to be real with y'all, a lot of it, a lot of the slowdown, I would say, is due to some of the stress that I've been under with uh, getting stuff together, you know? I told you guys before on this channel where I want to go with everything. Um, I want to host, produce TV shows. Same with radio, same with movies, you know? Game shows as well, series. Like the whole nine yards, right? I brought up the names Nick Cannon, Brian Seekers, Terrence J, Terrence Jenkins, um, a bunch of times, because those are some of the guys that I look up to. Obviously, the Steve Harveys or the Pat Sajaks of the world, or, uh, or, or anybody else, you know, Alex Trebek, you know, those guys mean a lot to me. Some of the things that I want to do. But in addition to that, I also want to do the, the acting, because you got like, I look up to Denzel, look up to Sam L, look up to Michael B, The Rock, K Hart, uh, Mahershala, uh, all these guys, because they are in line with where I want to go. You know, not saying that I'm gonna be bigger or better than any of them. You know, that's the hope, that's the goal, that's the dream, that's what we all strive for. But I don't know where this path is gonna take me, clearly, because my road is a lot different than theirs that they're taking, you know? Um, I know that Ryan Seacrest had to leave Georgia to go to California to intern for a radio show out in LA and luckily enough got a break and then was able to get onto Idol from doing a bunch of castings, right? I know that Nick Cannon was driving back and forth from San Diego to California while he was mad young, trying to get onto the comedy scene, the comedy clubs and eventually got discovered. I know that Terrence J was working a job that he didn't love, that I know exactly where at, but he doesn't talk about it like that, so I'm not. But he was living in New York, sleeping in his car, interning for BET, trying to get to where he wanted to go. And, you know, same with The Rock, having seven bucks in his pocket and just trying to figure out what my next move is gonna be. Same with Kevin Hart, working at that shoe store, but then finding comedy and then struggling and being like, I gotta figure this out. Is this really what I wanna do? Dropping back and forth, you know, driving, I'm forgetting my man's name, but driving them um, back and forth from New York to Philly to, to go do spots at the club, building those reps up. And, um, you know, I say all of that because I've studied all these guys and they're where I want to be. But the question now becomes, how am I going to get to where I want to go? And all of this is a part of this alternative road, so to speak, that I'm taking, man. Um, you know, a lot of y'all know I have my radio show, The Alternative with Melvin Taylor, I, I, that I do, that you can find on my YouTube channel. But I, I, I named that show The Alternative for two reasons. One, I love listening to the B-sides of records and hearing like mixtapes that people put out that was better than their albums, you know? This is a time where Cole and Crip was really coming through on the mixtapes and not as much as their albums, but they was getting there, you know? And that was one reason why I was like, I love listening to those and I want to put those songs that people haven't heard yet, people don't know about, you know? I want to put those on the radio. You know, the Kenny Loftons, you know, the everything from yours truly that he put out, the Neverlands, or with Big Crit, like the the, the All Sucky Sucky Now, or, you know, uh, Moons and the Stars, or Hometown Hero, things like that. I want to put those out there. 
But I also named it the alternative because like those guys that I mentioned before, I don't really have a set way to be able to get to where I want to go, to do what I want to do. There is no pathway. Everybody can say that there's a way to do it, but they haven't done it, especially in today's day and age. It's difficult. You know, you got people that you know, your, your same peers one day can be right there next to you and tomorrow can be in a movie on a billboard everywhere. It's, it's tough to figure out in today's day and age. And for me specifically, was working a full time, working a nine to five on top of being here and doing my radio show, you know, and, and giving you guys that content, doing my YouTube channel, giving you guys two, sometimes three videos a day. Even there was a period where I was giving y'all four videos a day. Also doing the sketch and improv comedy around around New York City. Um, I, I could say around the country because I've traveled and done that as well. And in addition to that, popping up in in different uh, short films, you know, going over to to Jersey, even debating on going to Philly or Pennsylvania, to popping up in films, you know, to to get my reps in and to get everything together, and a lot of that, bro, can be stressful. It's just weighing on on me a lot, and you know, it's been really tough as of late. Now having this news of being laid off, right? So. Uh, I get the I get the email the day before that says, hey, we got a mandatory meeting the next day. Me and some of my coworkers are kind of looking around at each other like what exactly is going to happen? We don't know. We don't know. But we all go to, you know, go home like in good spirits, like we should be fine. I should have known that something was off because that night I had a crazy dream that I normally only have like crazy dreams like that when something like wild is about to happen. And I just kind of dismissed it. But getting to work that day. Some people were in high spirits, some people weren't. Didn't really know what was up. And, um, you know, we get into the meeting and they let us know in the news that our entire division is closing and that we're effectively done at that point. And, you know, it's difficult to go through the different emotions that people are feeling at that point in time. And a couple people was looking at me being like, yo, how are you feeling? What's going on with you? And I'm like, to be completely honest with you, man, I've been through this about three times three, four times already. So I kind of know what my next steps need to be. How are y'all doing, you know? But something about this time felt different. Something about this time felt like it was supposed to happen this way because it felt as if I was supposed to do what I'm doing right now, which is giving you very different content as to what you're used to on this channel really just putting a stake in the ground and saying from this point forward, I really need to pour more of my time into what it is that I want to do. Like, yes, I love reactions. I love radio. Um, I love reviews. I love those things. In addition to those things, I have ideas for game shows. I have ideas for a series. I have ideas for movies. And, you know, you guys are here watching. And I know that you would love to see those things, but I've always been just like nervous about doing it. Cause I've always been nervous about what are y'all gonna think? But honestly, I'm reaching a point right now where it's like, I need to do these things. And like I told you guys when I took that picture with Spike Lee before, you know, this is the time for me to try that stuff. It's the time for me to say, yeah, I wanna do a short film and I wanna put it on my YouTube channel. Yeah, I wanna do a web series and put it on my YouTube channel. Yeah, I want to do a game show and put it on there. Hell, I want to do a vlog and put it on there too, you know? So, man, all in all, I really don't know what's going to be next. I don't know when you're going to get the next video, but I know it's going to be soon. I don't know what exactly to say to anybody that's going through a similar situation like this or just trying to find your way out. But the best piece of advice I can give you, man, is to keep fighting. Keep fighting. That's the best you can do. In every time, I guess I could say, that I've been through this, the only way out is through it. If you stop, get down on yourself, start thinking too hard, too critically on you know, what I could have did 
better, what I could have did with this, what I could have did with that. You're more so ignoring what's immediately in front of you, which is how are you going to live your life? Like, you know, my reactions, I don't make much money off of those. All that money is going to the copyright. Barely make anything off of those. Right? But I do it because, you know, I want to give that money to the copyright owner because, yo, it's your work. You did it. You know? But I got bills to pay, too. I got mouths to feed. You know? I got hair to cut. I got clothes to buy. I got studio time to pay for it. I got places to go so I can do this. Transportation, all of that. And I really think that this is going to be the start of something good. And I think that if you're watching this video right now, um, I guess if anything, I just want to say really thank you for taking the time to watch it because you don't have to. You don't have to watch really anything that I post, but the fact that you do just means a lot to me. You know, to, to come from uh, where I've come from, so to speak, right? And to be able to come here to go after my dream full force and to be able to have your support and all the videos that you've watched so far, all the posts that you've liked, videos that you've liked, comments that you put, all of that means something to me. And I know it may not mean much to you, but every single time you do it, it does mean a lot because it helps take me one step closer towards getting towards my goal. And with that, man, I really want to go into, I don't want to call this a period of like, like uh, uncertainty or a period of despair as it may be for some. I really want to take this opportunity that I have right now with, yeah, I got laid off. You know, yeah, I don't have any money coming in. Yeah, I, I don't have a job, but I really want to take this opportunity right now to really push forward and say, you know what? I want to put out more of the ideas I got. I want to, I want to really work on myself more. I really want to, I want to vlog, you know? I want to put out my sketches that I have. I want to work on these movie ideas and these series ideas while I figure out what I'm going to do next, whether that's going to be me full force diving into just becoming a full time YouTuber. Or if that means, you know, me having to juggle a couple jobs, me having to go to a restaurant and work, me having to go to Uber and be like, hey, yo, let me rent a car so that way I can drive around the city and make some money. You know, I don't know what's next, man, but I can tell you this is probably the most excited I've been for it ever in my life. Like, I ain't never been this excited after lay, being laid off from a job. You know, I ain't been fired. But I'm just really happy for this moment of clarity right now to be able to sit down and hone in on a lot of things that I got working that I've been putting off for far too long. And maybe this is the universe's way to be like, it's time to really develop that and work on that right now. So... Man, again, I, I appreciate you watching this video wherever you are, because it really does mean the world to me every single time you guys view something that I do or like it or comment about it. What I will tell you that, you know, moving forward, uh, like I said before, you're going to get a lot of different videos, whether it's going to be reviews and reactions. Those will never stop because I love them. But you're also going to get more sketches that I do more uh, skits that I'm going to be in, more short films, um, more movies. I think I said I'm a vlog already. I'm just saying that a couple of times because I've said it all throughout my channel that, oh, I got a vlog that I started and I just haven't put it out yet. I'm going to I'm gonna stop like withholding that and release that to you guys. And it's going to be the first step of doing that as well. Um, but man, your, your support in this means a lot to me. And I hope that it's continued throughout all of this. And you know, if if you could just to even support a little bit, a couple things you could do right now, obviously, would be to subscribe to this channel, so that way I can continue to work on the content that I'm developing. And you guys can be as critical as you want to be. If it's good, tell me if it's good. If it's shit, you can tell me it's shit. You know, um, and I'll do my best to get better from it. I'm also going to start an email list 
just so that way with everything that I do have going on, I can keep you guys updated so that way it doesn't always have to be in video form. Even though I do love it and that won't hinder it, just be another reminder so that way in case you miss anything. I won't blow you up every day nor every week. This might be a bi-weekly type of thing. And I'm going to put that down in the description so that way you'll be able to, to find that as well. Uh, and man, last but not least, man, I'm kind of happy, bro. I'm happy. And it's not like a, I'm like crazy type happy, like, Everything's falling apart. Everything's great. Like, nah, bro, like I got bills to pay. Like, yeah, things are falling apart right now. But I'm happy because I'm really in a space right now where I feel like I can make this work. I feel like I can really come out on top of this. I, not, I, I don't even just feel like I can do it. I really do believe that I can. And I know that I can. Like, y'all seen where I came from. Y'all see where I am now. Y'all see where I'm going. If you follow any of my social media, any of my stuff on YouTube at all, you know me, you know who I am, you know what I stand for, you know what I do. And you know that no matter what, I'm going to keep pushing for everything that I want to do. And I'm just excited for that to continue to happen. So if you want to see more of it, please make sure you either join in that email list, subscribe to this channel, and get ready for this alternative road.